Dear Seth, from the moment you walked up those stairs of my little two-bedroom apartment, I knew that I was going to marry you. I'm pretty sure that those feelings were mutual. I wasn't giving you a choice regardless of how you felt, honestly. It was truly love at first sight from the very beginning, and you still give me that warm, fuzzy feeling every single day that we're together. You are everything that I have ever wanted and dreamed of in having in a family. The bond that you and Hunter share just fills my heart with nothing but pure joy. I love the way you love him. I love how it's always been me, you, and Hunter since the very first day that God brought us together. You've always treated our baby boy like he was your own, and that is what I fell in love with the most. We have been through so much within the last year, and I honestly don't know how I would have made it without you by my side. I don't know how I ever would have lived this life without you. I couldn't have asked and prayed to God for a better person to share the rest of my life with. I hope that someday I am able to even give you a glimpse of the love that you have given me and shown me. You are my best friend, Hayden Seth Weaver, and every day with you has been an adventure. I look forward to the many days that are ahead of us, and I absolutely cannot wait for you to be my husband. This is it. See you at the end of our beginning. I love you. Dear Megan, since May 4th, 2018, you have made every single second of my life amazing. Writing this letter has been has been tough because there's a million things I can say, but nothing comes close to how deeply in love with you I am. I knew from the moment I saw you smile that we were meant to be together. I've prayed for years that the Lord would lead me to my true love, and he has done exactly that. There isn't a day that goes by when I'm not thinking of every funny little thing you do, from your laugh to aggravating me to, every sweet little, to that sweet little grin. Every time I stare into those deep brown eyes, I see my future. I love how you can make the worst day the best just by hugging me or smiling at me. We have been through thick and thin together in less than two years and I wouldn't want anyone else by my side. I love you more than you'll ever know. You have, you have raised Hunter up to be an amazing boy and I'm blessed to be a part of y'all's family. I worried a lot when I first met Hunter that I couldn't be a good enough parent, but having you beside me, helping me through every single situation in life has made it amazing. You are the most persistent, hardworking, compassionate, loving woman. I can't wait for all the more memories we make together, from your first duck to raising kids together and growing closer every single second that passes. I just want you to know that no matter what happens in life, I will never abandon you, and I love you. Thank you for every amazing second from and for stealing my heart and being my best friend. I can't wait to see you walking down the aisle towards me. Just remember, you can't cry or I won't be able to hold back. I know, you, I know you will look amazing, and I can't wait to call you my wife. Just know I'm smiling from ear to ear thinking of you while I write this. I want you to always keep your head up, and I'll be there pushing you along every step of the way. I have waited for over 10 years for this day, and I couldn't be any more blessed. And I love you, Megan Daniel Weaver. Love, Seth.
Do you believe God has brought Megan into your life to share this life with you as you live for Christ Jesus? Will you love, honor, and cherish her in plenty and in want, in joy and sorrow, in sickness and health, in all faith, tenderness, and to be true and loyal to her as long as you both shall live, will you say, I will? Megan, do you believe that God has brought Seth into your life to share a life together with you and to live as one in Christ Jesus? Will you give him yourself, give yourself to him in all love and all honor and plenty and in want and joy and sorrow in sickness and in health and in faith and tenderness and submit to him as unto the Lord as long as you both shall live, will you say, I will? Amen. For just a second, I'm going to step over here. Hunter, how are you, buddy? I don't need those yet. I got something for you, buddy. <clears throat> Hunter, will you pledge in your honor and love to this family every day of your life? Will you say, I will? Do you, do you promise to respect Seth and your mom and realize the joy and love that he brings to this family? <laughs> Here's the last thing. Will you act with respect towards him and work together as a family, love him and encourage him on a daily basis, will you say? A daily basis, will you say, I will? Yeah, all right, man, give me a high five. Seth and Megan, I charge you to wear these rings as a token of the bond of reverence and faith in which you made here today. I now pronounce you husband and wife in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. This day marks a brand new era in your lives. From this day forward, you will travel life's pathway, not alone, but together. Therefore, may the love of Christ our Lord be forever enthroned in your hearts. And may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you. And may he be gracious unto you. Therefore, what God has joined together, let no man separate. Seth, you may kiss your bride. Amen. It is my privilege to introduce to you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Hayden Seth Weaver. <laughs>